Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Modded Character Showcase. It's been a little while since we did Modded Character Showcase, but someone made a good uh, point that basically if we do too many of them, they're not as special, so I want to spread them out a little bit more. And we've got a new character here that's currently in the works. This is not a release character yet, but this is Joseph, and this is a very intriguing idea for a character. As you can see, we start with the deck of cards and start a deck. I also like the fact that this character's got, like, the colour with them as well. But anyways, we're going to jump straight in and take a look into what this character's all about. One sec. Right, let's take a look at what this character's all about. So, obviously, we've got the regular things, but here we have our item use. And at the minute, we've got a tower card. And then our enchant, which is a really special little ability. Basically, we can use Q here to absorb a card. And as you can see, our card is now on our head, and we have it in the top left here. And what this means is very interesting. What this means is we now have the ability of that card permanently. So what I'd imagine is that the tower card has given us Curse of the Tower. That would be what I would suspect. Uh, but each one of them is going to have a unique effect. Now, I have no idea if this will work with modded cards. I suspect, considering this is a character in development, it probably won't yet. But uh, maybe down the line. Uh, it will be something that gets that gets worked on. But yeah, I, I really like the idea of this. I really like the idea. I think it's really interesting. Um, and I think, yeah, if you can expand it to work with like all the different cards and stuff, it could be really cool. So let's try touching this. And there you go. Exactly as expected. That is Curse of the Tower right there. And we get ourselves some extra bombs out of this. So now we've got a Lover's card and we can absorb this. Apparently on getting hit you have a chance to lose the card you have absorbed. I don't know what the Lover's card would do. It might just drop health on hit. I'm not entirely sure. Um, or it might mean that we just get more heart drops. It might be a kind of like child's heart in a way. Ah, there you go. We lost our card there. So unfortunately that one we, we just lost. We didn't get to see the ability and it wasn't an on hit effect. Some of them are going to be some of man. It really depends on the cards you get. But, of course, starting with a starter deck and a deck of cards means we're going to be getting more and more cards. Um, I mean, we get a jack of clubs here. Two to three copper bombs. So how does... Okay, so this one is is just a straight up use. Okay, that one I wasn't able to, uh, to suck up. So yeah, I think it is going to be the case that the modded cards will be something that will most likely be worked on a bit, bit more down the line. But even then, there are so many modded cards, it would take a night and a day and about 20 more to cover every single one off. But definitely a character that can be expanded on heavily, I think. The the idea is really unique, and there's a lot of places to go from the starting point of what, what we have right here. And even with just the vanilla cards, I think there's going to be some interesting stuff you can do. My, my initial thought is, I want a strength card. Strength card seems like it'll be really good. Now, I did actually just eat a tiny bit of garlic bread. And now my fingers are greasy and I've covered my keyboard in grease. And I'm, I'm regretting heavily my, my decisions to touch garlic bread before recording. But what's done is done. It cannot be changed. I'll tell you what I don't like. All of these goddamn enemies in this room. <laughs> there you go. That was getting a bit much. Nice. Copper bomb popping off there is pretty good. We'll get another card after this as well. But yeah, I'd love this as a as a unique item as well, the ability to gain card effects permanently. We don't want to die. Good, good. Roll of pennies is fine. We get the stars. I'm intrigued how the stars is going to work. Ooh, interesting. Um, Yeah, I'm intrigued how the stars card is going to work. So we can hold that. And gain its ability. And yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe when I go down to the next floor, it'll automatically take us directly to the item room. Maybe that's how it'll work. No. Maybe on hit, I'll get teleported there. I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. Some of these card effects are going to be unique to us. What One thing that I would suggest, and I actually don't know if this is the case, it's something I'm going to have to check, is it'd be nice if the, uh, if the cards on the floor had an EID description of what they were... Um, what they were going to do. Now, that might already be the case. I just haven't looked at any cards that work on the floor. I should probably do that next and see if that's the case. Because uh, it might be that I can tell what the card is going to do via an EID description. Uh, but uh, overall, though, right now, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how things are. Oh, you bastard of a bomb. Copper bombs, you're the worst. It's kind of a hard room, to be honest. Yeah, I had a feeling I was going to get hit there. There's a lot going on in here. If, if that bomb had gone off, it would have been great. I kind of think with copper bombs, if you shoot them enough, they should explode. 
Like, it'd have to be a good amount. But just to make them, like, still usable. And it should do a regular explosion rather than a large one. Right. Got a bomb back at least. We are actually kind of low on HP right now, so we'll be careful. We'll go with this bad boy. I like the little bomb familiar. He'd be kind of good. We also get a burn heart as well, which is good. So far, though, we did get hit. We didn't get teleported to the uh, item room. So maybe it's going to be something that happens in the item room for the stars card. Maybe it's something that we'll uh, we'll see when we... I uh, know, we, 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 we were just in the item room, though. Although, there was two items. There was two items. So maybe it just gives us a second choice of items. That might have been why we had two items in there to choose from to begin with. That would make a lot of sense, actually, wouldn't it? So stars is a, is a pretty goddamn good one to have. Now, I am going to be changing up... Oh, really? Telefrag me. Um, I am going to be changing up which uh, card I use quite often, because I just want to see all the available options here. So let's take a look. Let's put this to the floor. No, so there isn't an EID description, but I would I would highly recommend adding an EID to um, to the item. Oh, I definitely want that. So let's, uh, let's take this one on board. Now, this one, I imagine, will be just kind of like Mum's Turnail, or it'll just do that. Beautiful. I wonder if that'll only happen on bosses, or if that'll be something that happens a lot. Okay. Good stuff. We'll keep her going. But yeah, getting a charge penny here. Very, very nice. Take a sip of my water here. Oh, Lord. Okay, yeah. So it's kind of like the shovel. It, it's going to target enemies, but it will also target us. Uh, if there's no enemies available. But this is a pretty strong one. It's a pretty risky one, but it's a pretty strong one. Now, we do start with slightly less damage as this character. 0 0.5, um, 0 0.85, sorry, uh, times multiplier. But yeah, it's going to be kind of interesting. We've just got to be careful. I think whenever we enter a new room, it's going to stomp something. It's pretty strong. Always going to stomp something on a new room. This might be one of the better cards that you can gain, actually, from what I'm seeing. Now, I'm not going to go into my item room yet, because I'm, I'm actually going to wait and do my boss and stuff and see if we get a stars card again. Because I think waiting on a stars card, if you can, is worth it. Now, we've got the hanged man here, which I imagine will just give permanent flight, right? You'd, you'd imagine so. Uh, one we don't really need. Dude, this is incredible. This, this, this might definitely be the best card so far. Yeah, I'll come back to item room. I'd rather like, go and do the boss while I have... Um, while I have the foot available to do some real good damage. Keep it going. And also just to clear rooms quickly and stuff. It's doing a, a mighty, mighty fine job of that also. And we can pop this and we get the sun card. Sun card's an interesting one. So now sun card's kind of one of the ones where it's like I might just want to just use it. Oh. That enemy goddamn spawned on me. <laughs> you bastard. Yeah, the sun card I might want to just use. This. this is something I've got to remember. I don't have to get rid of it. I did that a bit late there. I tried to kill these two with the sun card and I missed. There's more? God damn. Evil Eye really needs to, like, needs a buff. Evil Eye is such a cool idea for an item. Oh, no, we lost it. We lost it. Yeah, Evil Eye is such a cool idea for an item. Um, but it just, its prop rate is so low. I have two luck and it's like, it basically never happens. Let's quickly go back and uh, check out our secret room here. Oh, bollocks. Okay, um, hmm. I'll be honest, I'm just going to bomb again. I, I realize it's a waste, but I can't be asked dealing with, with whatever shenanigans I created over there. Boom. Hermit. Okay. Hermit, I'm unsure what that would do. But if, if I was a betting man, I would say it's probably something to do with the shop. Let's go take a look at the shop. Aha! We got one of these, look. Nice. Okay. Um, Check down here first. Ooh, okay. This trinket, very intriguing. So, despite the card covering it, trinkets will be automatically consumed at the cost of five coins. 
Very, very nice. So I'm going to take that. And then we need five coins. Glyph of balance there, kind of interesting. I'm sorry to say it, Burzers, but you're all going under because I need pennies. Gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. It's an amazing trinket, honestly. It's it's super duper top tier. I really, really like it. Got a hanged man here. Honestly, I'm just gonna pop the hanged man in this next room to make my life easier because this room is gross. <laughs> but yeah, a trinket that I initially very, very heavily misunderstood. But now that I understand it and how it works, I actually really, really like it. I think it's a really, really good trinket. Maybe it, maybe the evil eye should, like, have some slight aim towards the enemy. Like, they should slightly... I don't, I don't know if herming's the right thing to do, but they should slightly, like, brain worm towards the enemy or something. I think that'd be kind of nice. Oh, hello. My little fella. By the way, I do apologize. My voice sounds a little raspy. I am a. L I don't. I'm not exactly ill, but I've got a little bit of a cold, a bit of congestion, so I apologize. Okay, we lost that one. We'll just pop that. It's very good. Ah, oh, you big bastard, dude! You big big bastard! What the hell? So very very rude. Don't you dare get rid of this eternal heart, you absolute foul beast. Also, this is way too many dips, my guy. Way too many dips. At least you killed one of them for me. It's kind of hard to tell what he's going to do his big jump. The jump is longer, like that. But it's kind of hard to tell. Really, Bomb? You went for the... <sighs> I can't believe that Bomb decided to go for the tiny little dip rather than the boss. This boss is gross, man. <laughs> this boss is disgusting. That was awful. I can't believe I lost my Holy Mantle and Eternal Heart to that guy. What a waste of a card. Right, good, good. We got a Devil Deal. I'm, I, I literally checked in here for HP and HP alone, and now I'm actually pretty upset. I'm going to take Core of uh, Babylon because I'm hopeful. But well, not <laughs> super hopeful. But I just want some damage. Hello, hello. Unfortunately, we've not done very well on getting uh, soul hearts and stuff this this run. Not too well at all. Okay. Didn't see that one coming. We get the magician. Ooh, this could be good. If this gives us permanent herming. Oh, it does. Wow, okay. Magician's another top tier one then. Okay, didn't didn't see that coming either. Right, let's roll that back. That was not a great run. Judgment? I'm unsure how judgment would work. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, who is this little fella? Then I realised it's just, it's just the goober we know and hit the hit. Strength though. Strength I'm down with. Permanent strength card. Although it doesn't give you a HP up, but that's kind of fine. But permanent uh, stat up from the strength card is very, very nice. I will be keeping this around for a little while. Yeah, there's definitely some cards that can be better than others. I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to try and get a list of a bunch of the modded cards and suggest some uh, some effects based on them. Because I think that it, it this character is one that is like got such high potential, as I said earlier, but would also, it, 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 even though it's a lot of work, it would be a little bit disappointing to not see it get some modded uh, support, just because there is so many modded cards, and I feel like the amount of, uh, the amount of cards that you get that, like, you might not be able to use could be a bit disappointing sometimes. Um, now, one thing I'm unsure of is can the deck of cards actually give modded cards? I don't. I can't remember if it can. I'm pretty sure it can. And also, do cards such as playing cards do do they have effects currently? 
Oh, is that something that, 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 that like it only works with tarot cards? I imagine it only works with tarot cards, right? I don't I don't think it would work with like playing cards and stuff because I just don't know what the effects would be. But there is some modded tarot cards out there that I think would be interesting to uh, to play around with. All right, we did get the uh, the holy tomato, which is a very very good item. Random godhead aura on occasion. And while we've got strength at the minute, I'm very happy. Got a hermit again. Little monstrous, not bad here. I want my piggy snout back. Trinket's so good. Yeah, little monstrous, really early on, is incredibly strong. Unfortunately, not very likely to not get hit here, but I will try my very best. There needs to be, like, a an upper limit to how many dips there can be in this goddamn room. It's crazy. It looks like we got that, though. And we do get a pretty good item here, too. Slightly damaged down. Temperance? I'm unsure what Temperance would be. See, now I'm in a sticky situation where there's, I've got a bunch of new cards that I want to try. But the strength is too important right now. The strength is just simply too good. Blue Baby's only friend... I can't imagine it would be very good. I can't believe how bad Blue Baby's Only Friend is after the, the Repentance change to Tick Rate of Familiars. It used to be godly good. And now it's like the Tick Rate is just so slow that it's like, eh, it's not awful. But it, it used to be a powerhouse. It could carry you. Oh, shit. It could carry you so far. So there's our strength gone. Unfortunately. Which now puts our damage at just abysmal levels, unfortunately, after taking the suppository. Puts our damage in a, in a place that we are not particularly happy with. But luckily, we do have a lot of outside means to deal damage, so we're not completely in the water yet. We're, we're, we're okay still. On these early floors, Blue Baby's Only Friend is still doing a significant amount for us. It's just in the later stages. It used to be pretty good later stages. Now this, I'm intrigued by. This I'm very intrigued by. Oh, it doesn't work. <laughs> Damn. Okay. I'll take it. But yeah. I was uh, I was really, really hopeful then that that was going to do something. But I guess at the moment the reverse cards haven't been worked on. As I said, the character is still in development. This is kind of the proof of concept, so to say. Wheel of Fortune, an intriguing one. Oh, it's got a, we've got a little slot machine buddy here. wonder what he does. Uh, and that's a, a fortune-telling machine, actually. I'm intrigued by what he'll do. Maybe it'll get used on money pickup. Like, if we pick up a penny, it'll, uh, it'll slot it in. Sort of like we get, we get the penny and play the machine at the same time. That would be my uh, initial reaction as to what it would probably do. Dude, this... I was going to say, this guy's got t a tons of HP, then I realised, no, I've just got literally no damage. Mum suppository giveth, mum suppository taketh away. Oh, dude, this is, this is pretty brutal. <laughs> we're going to have to just use Blue Baby's Only Friend for a while, I think, because otherwise we're going to be in a sticky situation for a bit of time here. Going to have to utilize him to the best of my abilities. On a boss like this, it's not exactly the easiest either. Okay. Although we're doing good damage. I apologize for my snivelly nose. I really don't want to snivel. I'm trying my best. A bit of HP. Some good stuff here. Kapala or Johnny's Knives, both are very good. I think we'll take that for the damage, because that'll put our damage into the positive. Again, putting my HP in a risky spot here, but I'm taking risks while we're doing showcases, because it's fun. Because it's fun. Um, I still want to see what my slot, slot machine buddy does here. Still want to see what my slot machine buddy does. My damage still isn't great, though, mind you. It's better, but it's not. it's not great. Ooh, even with Blue Baby's only friend, they take damage at the same time. That's really good to know. 
We've got lovers here. Still don't know exactly what lovers does. So I'm sure you use the lovers. Oh, hello. I wasn't expected. Bunch of mini Isaacs. I don't, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I diddly do. Haven't seen my, my little slot machine do anything yet, I don't think. But I haven't picked as many pennies, I don't think, since I got it. Oh, that was, that was pretty beautiful. See, this is why Kapala's amazing. Makes a whole life a lot easier. Ooh. Definitely going in here, because laying on a bed right now will save this run. Laying on a bed right now does a lot for us. I'm just going to pause one sec. Oh my god. I was taking a sip of my drink, and a spider started attacking me. We got the tower again here. I don't think the tower really does much for us. Not really got the right stuff right now. Right. Yeah. Ooh, we got justice. We got double justice. I'm gonna take double justice. I'll suck up one justice, because I don't really know what's going on with this. No, like, wait a minute. I'll use one justice. Okay, taking a penny didn't do anything there for us. And I'll suck up the other justice. And see what that does. Mod drops, I'd assume. A lot of bombs. That's a lot of bombs. Take that as well. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some some theory crafting and st and such with the uh, developer of this mod to come up with some ideas for some of the cards that currently ha don't have their uh, abilities. Cause I think that'd be pretty fun. Grab that. Thank you. Oh goddamn. Okay. Not a bad run so far. We, we, we didn't even get to see what our Justice card did. Oh, dude. Can I, like, not take this much damage, please? My damage is just abysmal. Lovers again. Unfortunately, we're not getting cards that are doing much for us right now. Dude, our damage. <laughs> our damage is just pathetic. I need more. You invisible boy. I mean, that could that could save our life, but I, I feel like I'll also accidentally use it when I'm trying to absorb a card at some point. I feel like that's a strong likelihood. Dude, these guys run away from you and it's a pain in the ass. Nothing from those... Oh, we got a card though. They still need to turn down... With the community remix turned down those cards, the, the red ones. They're still just so insanely common for how good they are. Alright, Cuba meat doesn't do much for me, so I'm gonna suck it. Unfortunately, very bad stats out of it though. Error room. We haven't seen the item room yet, surprisingly. Did we get Curse of the Mazed over the one room that would lead us to the item room? How dare you, game? How dare you? We very much did. Right, we got Extinction Event. Unfortunately, can't take Actives because we really need the ability to gain more cards. We did get this, which is very, very nice. Quickly check in here for a Soul Heart. Very good. And then Corruption. We got a Golden Curse Penny. When picking up a coin, there is a small chance to spawn a buyable shop item. Intriguing. Weird. Okay. Strange curse penny situation here. Strange curse penny situation, but I'll take it. Because why not? Right, let's get out of here. I'll also absorb this for now, because why not? And we'll see what card we get next. But yeah. I, I really love the idea. Also, the character design. Can I just say, the character design with Joseph with his technical dream coat is beautiful.
It's really, really nice. And I love the hair as well. It's all around just a really, really nicely created character. But unfortunately, we've, we've not had good runs, though. That, that's, that's the big problem here. Our runs have not been good. We will hope that they shall improve. I mean, it, like, Kapala is such a good get, but... It doesn't really get good until we get good damage, and 3 fire rate and 3 6 and 9 damage is not great. we got another Hermit card here. I wonder what the Birthright would do. I, I'd hope the Birthright will just let you have two enchantments at once rather than just the one. That would be my uh, my go-to. If, if there isn't a Birthright already, that's what I'd suggest. Oh my god. <laughs> damage, please. I just can't kill things. Oh my lord, I am I might die again here, but I think we've already done a very good job of showcasing what this character has to offer. And I will, of course, do more runs as Joseph um, as we go along here, because I think it's a really fun character. And this definitely seems like a character I could add to the series as it progresses and once it's fully released. Because it's just, it has a lot going for it, and I think, as I said, if it keeps getting built up on, and they add, like, reverse cards and some modded card support, it could be a, it could be a character where there is just a hell of a lot of ways to play. A hell of a lot of ways to play. I like the idea of, um, of, like, having an enchantment that helps you for combat and then, like, keeping one in your back pocket, like a, like a stars or a, um, hermit, so that when you come across the shop, you've got, um, you've got, like, the availability to swap between. Kind of forgot about that. Nice soul heart there. Good, good. Oh, dude, I just can't kill stuff quick enough at all. Thank you. It's a real hard time up in here. I'm not playing too well either, which isn't helping, but... Taking, like, five shots to kill one of those things at this stage in the game is not ideal. The thing is, as well, we've got Mom's Suppository, so one good damage up will give us a lot. Good, good. On the burn hearts. Do not mind that. Ah, for God's sake. One of them's gone already. Both of them are gone already. D dude, I need to play better. Oh my lord, what am I doing? Why would I stand there? Okay. Okay, okay. The, the low damage is really messing with me here, because I'm just expecting things to die, and they're just not dying. I also need some better cards. I haven't had a good card in a little while here. See, Temperance is a new one to us. Let's, uh, let's pop Temperance. We got a little temperance machine. I'm still unsure exactly how these machines work, though. I've seen two of them now, but I've not really figured out how either of them work. Ah, there you go. That's interesting. That's interesting. I mean, the cursed penny thing here is not not ideal. We pick up a penny. I uh, pick up a heart, sorry, and it converts it into money. That's pretty. It's a pretty good addition. We also got golden bombs here. I should be using. Oh my lord! Oh no! Just die, please. <laughs> I'm gonna also blame it on the fact that I'm slightly ill too. That's that's definitely part of the reason. The emperor card is a new one to us as well here. Let's pop the emperor and see how that works. Do not know. What I would imagine is it does something as we enter the boss room, rather than it being a teleport card as it normally is. Right, one second. I'm getting a lot of messages, apparently. We are going to summon a boatload of dudes. Oh my god, we didn't even get to see what the Emperor card did! On such low health again! Such low health again. Your boy here is going to die. We got a Magician card, though. That's nice. Okay, that was nice. That was nice. We're going to have to go... Oh, God. This is going to be a bit of a shorter run. I suspect. I'll be honest. I could, I could somehow pull it out the back and play amazingly, but based on the play so far, I'm going to say that's not super likely. I would love it to be so. But I'm, I'm just going to admit, I don't think it will be. Okay. We're already stuck in the corner here. Oh, what have I done? Why am I in the corner? No! Okay. Okay. 
Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this look into Joseph and his technical dream coat. I think it's an amazing idea for a character. Really, really cool. And it has a lot and a lot of promise. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.